Hey, my friends. Good afternoon. How are you? Um, I've, I've been wanting to do my different coloring books, and also I wanted to talk about different coloring authors or um, artists that or I, I don't know what you call them, drawing people. Uh, anyway, they're authors to me because this is a book. So the one I wanted to, I had talked to you about Joanna Bassford, but I do want to do an in-depth one with Joanna Bassford as well. But I wanted to start this one out with, this is Millie Murata's wonderful artwork. She's an amazing artist. I love how she draws. It's unique. It's something that no one does. And um, anyone that tries to mimic it doesn't work. It, it just, it, it doesn't doesn't work but um I don't know if I have all of her books I think I have them all I don't know but I definitely will be doing a search on her and make sure I have all her books as I did with Joanna Bassford or as I do with Joanna Bassford I wanted to talk about um I wanted to talk about her so Here's a little synopsis about her. This is something she wrote about herself. So it's not like I'm getting it from another site. And actually, this is her site. And this is uh, about her. I spend my days creating intricate nature-based illustrations for my coloring books and other exciting projects from my studio by the sea in a little corner of West Wales. Growing up on a small holding in the hills of rural Wales. As a child, I was surrounded by nature in all its glorious forms. It was during these early years that I de developed a bit of an obsession with the animal kingdom and later went on to study wildlife illustration. This is Fascinate, this fascination sorry, with the natural world remains at the core of my work today, as does a love of pattern and intricate detail. Above all else, my intention is simply to create beautiful work which both captivates and charms. Well, let me tell you, she does captivate and she is... She charms me. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six books right here. And I am going to um, close this all up. And I very well may do a review for each one of these. Um, by the way, the little reading I want to give credit to, it is her site. It is www. Um, well, it's HTTPS, Millie Murata dot C-O dot U-K. And I will put that site down below in this wonderful video that I'm doing for her, not for her, goodness gracious, I'm doing this for myself. I just love her, and I um, have only 25 uh, subscribers, and I want to make sure that I get her out there, and I don't see too many people talking about her. I think it's because of her uniqueness, and um, as you know, as I've always said, I'm one hot mess, and um, I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to and I, um, I, I'm, I feel like a unique type of person, and I think that's why I'm charmed by her stuff. Um, the one I'm showing you right now is called Wild Life Wonders. This is how it comes. It's a beautiful, beautiful um, way to come. I love the colors. These are absolutely beautiful colors. Some of my favorites. I like the cool colors. When you open up the book... Um, by the way, this is published by, and I will put this under the link as well. I'm sorry, I thought I saw something. Um, this was 2018, and it is published by um, sterlingpublishing.com, landcraft.com um, as well. So um, I'm just going to go this way. So you always get an introduction. There's a little synopsis about her. You always get that. And this begins her, well, don't mind this craziness here. I don't even know what I was doing. Um, oh, and I went and I bled through, which I don't like how I bleed through. If you can see that. So I use markers. But this starts her beautiful book. Um, I'm, I just want to, this one is an absolutely fascinating one. Let's start here. Has nothing of my work on it. Um, as you know, I'm just a coloring person. I am a person that is infatuated with coloring, as I am with diamond painting and a lot of other things that I'm infatuated with. Um, but I love, love how you look at this, how it's developed. 
it, it's, it's so cool. Little shapes, little things are put together and I just love it. And I love being able, the, the coloring in this book is so cool, so amazing. And it, it somehow it helps you. Um, I'm gonna see if I actually have one that I've started in this book. Excuse me for a second. I don't wanna make you dizzy and I think you're shaking at the same time too. I'm sorry about that. Ah, sorry. Um, I might have to move to another book because I don't know if I have anything in this book that I have colored, which I do not. I had only started on that one and I used markers and I didn't like that. And I don't like what I did with that. So I am gonna go to another one. Um, and actually, I'm just trying to introduce you to the way she draws and just a little bit about her, but here's one that I've done. But can you see, is that not the coolest and most amazing? Again, guys, I'm not a professional drawer or a uh, color like all the other people out there. And I gotta get names. I gotta write down some names because I do watch them frequently and I'm just not a name person. But look at how beautiful it is. It just, she forces it, or how do I wanna say this? You make beautiful work and it looks beautiful from her drawing, the way she draws. It just is, it just falls together so beautiful. Um, and like no one can make this look terrible. And it's just, it's, I love what she does. I love her, love her thing. And like I said, I'm just a person to colors. Um, let me see if I can show you another one that I've done. Not in this book because I don't have that one. Well, I didn't think I was going to go through all these books and show you all the different things in the book, but I am, and that's okie dokie. Um, I do know I have, I might have one that started in here that I can share with you. Um, okay, well, here's one. All right, so not, it's just the beginning. Again, you're the boss of your own book. But see how you could do this in so many different directions. Um, I just colored it all as the nose, as the, and I liked it that way. But you could have broken it up into rows different rows. You can do some high highlighting with this. It's amazing. You have just so many different things you can do with it. Um, I'm trying to, well, that paper got torn to pieces. Um, oops, oops, oops. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to like do that. I do have others. Oh, the Curious Creatures one. I think I have quite a few in the Curious Creatures one just because they're adorable. Absolutely, totally adorable. And sorry if I'm making you dizzy, but like, okay. So again, just a normal person doing my coloring. See the frog? You could have colored all of this green and left the little things to show. Or you can do like I did and broke down every single little thing that she did and color it that way. It's like mind blowing. And again, everything looks good. I've never done anything in her book that did not look good. Does not look good. Here's another one that started. It looks good, right? It's it's the way she draws. It just, oh, I love her. I just love her. She is amazing. Okay, I think that's it in that one. I will go into, oh, hey, oh, Wild Savannah. I think there's a couple ones in here I did. Yeah, see, here's another thing. Here, now, the, I fault myself with this. This is sort of like Walt Disney pukes, right? Not because of her drawing, because I, I picked out so many darn colors. What the heck was I thinking? Anyway, I, I thought it was fun. It's still fun, but it's pretty crazy. The colors are crazy. But anyway, again, just a coloring person. Um, okay. No, but I do want to show you one in here that I am dying to start and I have not yet started. I love, oh, sorry, didn't mean to hit you. Love, love, love this one. I can't wait to do it. Can you see the whole thing? Can't wait. Cannot wait to do it. All right, so that's that one. And um, I will show you, again, I wasn't anticipating doing this, but what the hey, right? Here's the finished product. You can see that. And totally, completely enjoy doing it. Now, I took every little thing she drew and I colored it. That was me. Uh, you don't have to do that. You could have, you know, done it completely different. But again, like I said, just a normal color. I am not something perfect. I just like to color. And here's one that I have begun. Oh, God. Begun. Okay, and so what this one is, is this is like, it says here, it says, um, it says e 
Iguanas are masters of camouflage. Use lush greens and deep blues to disguise this scaly beast. So she gives you a little bit of a whatever you want to do, right? That's cool. I love it. And I think that's it in this one. I think this goes here. Hold on, let me put this back in so I am prepared. So, um, again, she's unique. She does have a couple of full spreads. Um, that would be what I mean by full spread is it takes two pages. And this is a beautiful one, too. And this is getting to be 10 minutes, and I want to stop. So, anyway, a shout out to Miss Millie. I love you. She's amazing. And may you all be blessed. God bless.